John Mattube. In this video, we will learn about tangents and normals to ellipse. So, point number one, we have derived the equation to tangent to ellipse uh, in slope form at x1, y1. Now, we will be doing problems related to tangents and normals. Now, before we start, you should be very good with the following things. So, first one is the condition to tangent to an ellipse that means an ellipse is like this and we want the tangent to the ellipse in the form y is equal to mx plus c and the condition is c should be plus or minus a square m square plus b square and can you see we get two tangents the reason is in an ellipse because of the shape of the ellipse there will be two tangents which are parallel to each other. Now, the second formula is even more important. This is the equation of tangent at x1, y1, where x1, y1 is the point on the ellipse. I'll repeat, this is the equation of a tangent at x1, y1, where x1, y1 is the point on the ellipse. Now, the third one I have not written here, and that is extremely important and no need to buy heart if you know these two formulae we can uh, like what you call learn the third formula very easily now first of all you to understand what you mean by parametric form parametric form means it is same like the equation of a system for example a parametric form of an ellipse means it will represent every point in the ellipse I'll repeat once more. A parametric form of an ellipse means a point or a coordinate or a variable coordinate which represents every point in the system. So, you understand that the parametric coordinate of ellipse is A cos theta, B sin theta, where theta varies from 0 to 360. That means if you plug in theta equal to 0 degree, 1 degree, 1.1 degree, 1.2 degree, 1.001, 1 like that, like that, like that, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, up to 360 degree, you will be able to generate the standard ellipse. You will be able to generate every point in the standard ellipse. Now, why I said no need to buy heart this formula is, since the parametric form is a point on the ellipse, we can use the above formula because x1 will be a cos theta and y1 will be b sin theta so just plug in a cos theta here and b sin theta here and simplify you will get x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1 if you can by heart by heart it okay now comes to normal in normal um, no need to by heart uh, like what you call the condition for tangent in mx plus c form we will derive it if you want we will derive it and this one you have to a square by x1 into x minus b square by y1 into y equal to a square minus b square now what do you mean by parametric form parametric form means it represents each and every point in the system and we know that for an ellipse, the parametric form is a cos theta, b sin theta. And all you have to do is it replace this x1 with a cos theta and y1 with b sin theta. And you will end up with ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta is equal to a square minus b square. So once more, let me repeat. Before starting problems related to tangents and normals, you should be very good with a few formulae. One is, suppose you want the tangent to an ellipse in slope intercept form. That means you want it in the form y equal to mx plus c. Then you have to buy hard this condition. And remember, because of the shape of an ellipse, uh, instead of one tangent, there will be two tangents having the same slope. There will be two parallel tangents. Now, second one, suppose you know a point x1, y1 on the ellipse, then this formula and finally parametric form. Parametric form is very powerful, 
No, if you know the parametric form, it means you know each and every point on the ellipse. And same story for normal. Now let's do some very very important questions. Find the condition. The line Lx plus Moy plus n equal to 0 represents a tangent to the ellipse. First of all, you have to understand two equations. For example, I am going to write x plus 2y equal to 3. And 3x plus 6y equal to 9. Look at this. If I ask you how many equations are here, most of you will respond that there are two equations. But how did I find the second equation? All I did is I multiplying throughout by 3. So graphically, that means if you make a graph of the first equation or the second equation, you will end up with the same picture. These represent line. So you will get only one line. So my point is there are two equations on the board but both of them graphically represent the same line. So the condition is very simple. The coefficients must be multiples. That means they must be proportional. Or mathematically speaking you can see that the coefficients 1 and 3, 2 and 6, 3 and 9. See all the coefficients are equal. So two lines let's say ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and capital AX plus capital BY plus capital C equal to 0 represent the same line provided A divided by A equal to B divided by B equal to C divided by C. Okay, let's start. So we want the condition that Lx plus My plus N equal to 0 represents a tangent to the ellipse. Okay, so what we do is, first of all, we will write the parametric form of the ellipse. So let's start. You have to start like this. The parametric form of the ellipse is A cos theta comma B sin theta where theta varies from 0 to 360. So look at this. What do you understand from the parametric form? Parametric form means you know each and every point on the ellipse. That means you have access to each and every point on the ellipse. Now look at this. Equation of tangent in parametric form. What is equation of tangent in parametric form? Just now we learned. Oh, x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta equal to 1. So, equation of tangent in parametric form is x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1. That is, cos theta by a into x plus sin theta by b into y minus 1 is equal to 0. Equation number 1. So, I will make you understand what is equation 1. Look at this. If you know the parametric form, that means you know every point on the ellipse. Now, corresponding to every point, there will be a tangent. You can see that from the picture I am making now. Corresponding to every point, there will be a tangent. And this equation represents all the tangents that means you put different 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 values for theta you will get different 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 tangent to the ellipse now look at the question who wants to become the tangent lx plus my plus n equal to 0 so i am going to write like this therefore if lx plus my plus n equal to 0 Equation number 2 is a tangent. So I am writing like if this becomes a tangent, then equation 1 and equation 2 represent, look at this, equation 1 means it represents every tangent. So if equation 2 wants to be the tangent, then equation 1 and 2 represent 
the same line for some value of theta okay now we already discussed before we started the problem when will two equations represent the same line when will two equations represent <coughs> the same line yeah the coefficient should be proportional so we get cos theta by a the whole divided by l equal to sin theta by b the whole divided by m is equal to minus 1 by n that is now now look at this now our job is you have to find cos theta from first and last and you find sin theta from second and last so from first and last i'll get cos theta by a is equal to minus l by n so cos theta equal to minus a l by n similarly from second and last i'll get sin theta is equal to minus b m by n okay now if you are given cos theta and sin theta do you know how to get rid of that theta very simple you can write we have cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 now what is cos square theta a square l square by n square plus b square m square by n square equal to 1 that is a square l square plus b square m square equal to n square which is the required condition so let's do one more question find the condition that the line 2x minus 3y equal to c may become a normal to the ellipse 9x square plus 16y square is equal to 144. Now look at this, there are many many methods to tackle this problem. But I feel parametric form is the easiest. Now if you want to write it in parametric form, you should always put it in the standard form. So 9x square by 144 plus 16y square by 144 is equal to 1. And that gives me x squared by 16 plus y squared by 9 equal to 1. So, comparing with the standard ellipse, x squared by a square. We did basic problems in the last video. So, you can check that video. <clears throat> so, we have a equal to 4, b equal to 3. So, I am going to start like this. The parametric form of the given ellipse is 4 cos theta comma 3 sin theta now look at this this is an equation related to normal so first of all it will be very good with the equation so please write the equation of normal in parametric form what is the equation of normal in parametric form ax by cos theta minus by by sin theta is equal to a square minus b square so here it will be 4x by cos theta minus 3y by sin theta is equal to a square is 16 minus 9 and that will be 7. So we will put it in proper form that is 4 by cos theta times x minus 3 by sin theta times y minus 7 equal to 0 equation number 1 now once more i'll put it like this if you know the parametric form you know each and every point on the ellipse and if you know the equation of the normal in parametric form if you know the equation of normal in parametric form that means you know every normal to the ellipse so look at every point there is a tangent so there will be a normal at every point there is a tangent so there will be a normal at every point there is a tangent so there should be a normal and do you know all the normals yes for different different values of theta we will get different different normals to the ellipse 
Now, look at this. Who wants to be the normal? Okay. So, you can write like this. Therefore, 2x minus 3y minus c equal to 0 will be a normal. Equation number 2. Come on, tell me. The same method. This represents all the normals and this person wants to be one of them. So, what is the condition? Yeah, the coefficients will be proportional. That is 4 by cos theta, the whole divided by 2 is equal to minus 3 by sin theta, the whole divided by minus 3 is equal to minus 7 by minus c. Now, like in the previous problem, uh, you find cos theta from first and last, sin theta from second and last. <laughs> So we get 2 by cos theta is equal to 1 by sin theta is equal to 7 by c. So cos theta will be 2c by 7 and sin theta will be, if you are given cos theta and sin theta, cos square, cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to, cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. So 4c square by 49 plus c square by 49 equal to 1. So, you eventually end up with uh, c is equal to plus minus 7 by root 5. That's it. Now, one more thing. Suppose they ask you point of contact. Uh, you have to remember the point of contact is the parametric form. Okay, let's do one more question that they have asked find the condition find the condition the line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p touches the ellipse okay tell me please what do you mean by touches the ellipse is it tangent or normal obviously tangent so how do you start Okay, the parametric form of the ellipse. So, tell me what's the parametric form of the ellipse? A cos theta, B sin theta. Then, do we need the equation of tangent or normal? 100% tangent because touches a line touches an ellipse means line becomes a tangent. So, equation to tangent in parametric form. That is, x by A cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1. Now, let's put it in the standard form. Cos theta by a into x plus sin theta by b into y minus 1 equal to 0, equation number 1. Now, according to the question, who wants to be the tangent? Yeah, so you can write x cos alpha plus y sin alpha minus p equal to 0 will be a tangent if equation 1 and 2 represent same line. Did you understand the trick? Parametric form means we know every point, we know every tangent. It's kind of like saying we know all the tangents in the ellipse. Now, if this character wants to be the tangent, then it has to be one of them. That means for some value of theta, the lines will be same. Cos theta by A, the whole divided by cos alpha, sin theta by b, the whole divided by sin alpha is equal to minus 1 by minus p. And now you can find cos theta. Cos theta I am getting a cos alpha by p and sin theta I got b sin alpha by p. So how do you get rid of it? Squaring and adding. So a square cos square alpha by p square plus b square sin square alpha by p square is equal to 1. So that is a square cos square alpha plus b square sin square alpha is equal to p square. Okay, that's it. So I will be back with more problems related to tangents and normals in the next video. So till then my friends, bye.